Hi, Comedia of Awesome. I'm Ava J, and this is Bookish Pixie. So today on Twitter, I sent out a tweet asking people if they had any questions they'd like to see me answer on a vlog. I got quite a few good questions, many of which I will probably use. And by the way, if you guys have questions you haven't seen me answer, just let me know below and I will add it to my list. Well, one of these questions was from someone asking if I knew how writers could get their work copywritten before getting published so they didn't have to worry about other writers stealing their idea. And that reminded me of a blog post I wrote a while ago, but never really addressed here. So today I'm addressing it. So here's the thing, I don't think you really need to worry about other writers stealing your ideas. The thing to remember is your idea for a book is just an idea. Ideas in and of themselves aren't copyrightable. And the thing about ideas is even if someone stole your completely original, super brilliant idea, they'd still have to write the book. And look, maybe they would write the book and maybe they'd write it better than you did, but at that point, it's not just your idea, it's what they built into a book. If you just look at, oh, vampire novels, for example, a lot of them have really similar premises and you could even stretch to say that they may have started off of super similar ideas. Bram Stoker, Anne Rice, Stephanie Myers, Rochelle Mead, they all wrote major vampire novels and their premises are somewhat similar and you could say, in theory, that their original ideas were really close to the idea of the book before them. But then they made it their own. They wrote their own characters and dialogue and world and they built their own sentences and paragraphs with images. Take a creative writing class, for example. Oftentimes, in creative writing classes, the professor or teacher will give the entire class one prompt to work on, and it'll be the same prompt for everyone. And when time comes to share the writing, you'll often find that every single student has something vastly different. And while there will be some similarities, sure, each student will have made the prompt their own. Give a hundred writers the same idea, they will come out with a hundred different books. So all of that is based off of if someone actually stole your idea. But the rest of the vlog, I'm going to talk about the more realistic scenario, which is that no one cares about your idea enough to steal it. I know that sounds harsh, like I'm saying that your idea is bad, and I'm not saying that. You could have the most amazing idea ever but most writers aren't interested in writing someone else's idea. Writers are creative types. We wanna write our own stories and we wanna write the things that inspire us and usually it's not someone else's idea that inspires us. Maybe a writer will be inspired by your idea and write something with a similar element, sure, but more likely than not, they're not gonna wanna write the same thing you're writing. So go ahead and work with critique partners. Go ahead and enter that public pitch contest where you pitch the idea of your novel and hope that an agent or editor likes it. But I promise you, most most of the time, you don't really have to worry about it. Am I saying it never happens ever? No, but it is pretty unlikely. If you want to worry about stealing words, then worry about plagiarism, where people take entire blog posts and publish it as their own, or take entire manuscripts and try to pass it off. If you want to worry about stealing words, then worry about pirating, where people take published works and rather than making sure the author gets their deserved compensation, gives it out for free. But if what's stopping you from working with that critique partner or entering that pitch contest is the fear that someone might steal your idea, then don't worry about it. I know it's a common fear, I understand it, but you're going to be okay. So that's all I got for today. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and comment, and I'll see you guys next week.